Day after the inauguration for President Donald Trump, thousands came out to Washington, D.C. for another event, the Women's March. But many other cities are also taking part in sister marches, including one right here in Birmingham. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez joining us now live in the studio with more. Matt. Lee, check out this massive crowd for the Women's March in Washington. About a half a million people reportedly participated in that march. Here in Birmingham, people also came out in big numbers to fight for their rights. It all started at Kelly Ingram Park. People singing, giving peace signs, holding signs, letting their voices be heard on issues that matter to them. A lot of gender-based violence issues that I think are super important, domestic violence, intimate partner violence, sexual assault, these are all things that are really big problems in our culture and society. And I don't think anyone should be able to tell us what we can or cannot do with our own body. So, and I'm for equality, and I'm for love, and I know love trumps hate every day, all day. Some getting creative with their outfits. We are women, and we're ready to get to work and be active and do things. And then, of course, the nasty women is a reference to our current president's comments uh, to other powerful women. So, I feel like it's appropriate to reclaim that as our own sort of moniker. From Kelly Ingram, they made their way to the streets. Hundreds are taking part in the Women's March in downtown Birmingham. Ma'am, why are you taking part in this march today? Because I believe that we need to have respect for everyone and that we need to show up to let those people know that we have respect for them and that we will stand up for each other. because women's rights are human's rights. After marching on several streets, they ended up back at Kelly Ingram Park. And today's march in Birmingham was not just people from Alabama. I also spoke with people who participated that were from different states. Live in the studio, Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News.